this is Sandra welcome back to my channel so as you can see there's a suitcase in front of the screen we are going to Red Deer this was a very impromptu trip so it kind of sprung up yesterday we had no plans and then Chad found out he had Friday off I just wanted to show what I'm packing this is a Roxy suitcase I mean it only has the one opening it doesn't have the double but I'm not flying anywhere so I don't need like a really awesome suitcase but I think I've had this for probably 15 years and it's done me pretty well it's fairly small but honestly we're going for two nights and three days I don't need a whole lot so I just want to show what I'm decided to pack now because it's only two days and three sorry two nights and three days I honestly probably don't even need this much clothing. I'm just taking it to have a selection of stuff if I choose to wear something else. So I am taking a pair of jean capris. The belt is already in there to save some space. This is a romper, so it's just a black romper. My bathing suit. I have my um, jean shorts that come down to the knees. I have a black pair of capris. That's my bathing suit bottoms. And then here I have two normal shirts. So this is just a plain black one with the word fearless on the front. This is a white plain t-shirt. And then these are just tank tops. So there's a plain black one and then my palm leaf one, which is my favorite. And then to go along with that black tank top, in case I need an extra cover up, I am taking my two kimonos. So this is the one that you may have seen me wearing in other videos. This is one of my favorites. I honestly don't even remember where I found it. And then this is the other one here, the blue one that sometimes you see me wearing. So I honestly, I don't really fold them up. I just kind of, well, this one I might have to fold because it's so bulky, but I'm just going to lay it on top of there. And the suitcase surprisingly holds a lot. So the other thing that I need is a set of pajamas. So I have like a big t-shirt and just like capri pajama bottoms. So that will go in there. These t-shirts can go in there. And then as for what I'm wearing today, I think I'm gonna wear shorts. I was gonna wear my romper, but I changed my mind. I'm gonna wear these shorts that have this like fluttery bottom, which is kind of look like a dress. And then I might wear this blue tank top with flower print. I'm taking my slippers that my mom made me, so these are minion slippers. And then I also need room for makeup, so that is kind of the issue. So I need room for my toiletries and my makeup, so I'm going to try to leave some room in here. Let's see what we can do. So for my toiletry bag, I usually use this one here. It is an Anna Martina Franco, I think it says, and it was just from Walmart. But what I like about it is that you open it up and this is for small little trinkets and then you can put your shampoo and your makeup remover and all that stuff in the big side pockets. And then as long as it doesn't get too squished, you just fold it up. It has a little magnetic closure and then I can usually hang it on the back of the bathroom door. As for makeup, I'm really going to try to pack light this time because I always overpack and I never end up using half the stuff anyway. So I think this big one is out. These are just the same. They're Anna Martina Franco. They're from Walmart, which is just a fairly cheap brand. I think this whole set was under $20. This was from Tarte. I had ordered some makeup from Tarte and I really like this. So I might try bringing this because it's small enough that will just fit really easily in my suitcase. So we'll see. And then of course my Sigma brushes, go in my Sigma case. So here I am, I'm all finished packing. I'm just gonna quickly go to my packing list and make sure that I have everything. So where did my pen go? There you are. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and quickly, let's see if I can angle the camera better. So I'm wearing that. Um, I like to just kind of cross everything off. And then for Connor, I've got his stuff. So we will come right back and um, I'm gonna take this downstairs. 
I need to go get my portable chargers for my phone and we will be ready to go shortly.
Please? Chad with his beer. What's that? Oh, and I'm just going to turn it around for a yeah. sec. Yeah. This is mine. We are currently in a place called Red Heart in Red Deer. And we're upstairs. So this is the back room that's open to the public. We're allowed to check it out. And they do have a balcony open right now. It's really sunny outside, but unfortunately there is no room. So we are upstairs. Red Heart, there's the namesake of the elk on the wall. They have a pool table here. And again, the back, they've got restrooms. And then if we come over here, they've got stairs going down. And so I think Papa doesn't want to be in the vlog, but according to Papa, the beer on tap, which is on nitro, which makes the beer more creamier, is actually their dark stout, and it is delicious. I've had it the last time we were here, and we will talk to Papa and see if we can't persuade him to be in the vlog. Sometimes when I'm thinking about us Before we got lost and we parted Back to back we would carry on and We'd do anything for what we started but 